What is going on guys? My name of course is Jay and hope you're all doing well today because today I'm going to show you how to make a catapult or a trebuchet. What do you call it? It's a catapult slash trebuchet you may call it because we're not using a fully weighted catapult sling. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and go to... where is Epsilon? I have lost Epsilon everyone. There we go. Is it that one? Yep. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the windmill level, which is the level two. La 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 la. Here we go. That was quick. Okay, um I'm not gonna start from scratch because I don't really want to build it all again because that would take a while and we're gonna have to break all the errors and a little bit and that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just load the ones I built. Let's go for the trebuchet number one. This is the first one I built. It's not that successful. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the mission and activate free build mode. Okay, yeah, and this is my design here. And it's quite big. It's not necessarily have to be big, but in this case, I was a bit paranoid. So we're gonna go ahead and I hope it's still the same controls as it was. We're gonna go ahead and play and the frame rate was going crazy <laughs> and there go <laughs> there goes my whole fucking device it's gone it's burning to the ground we're gonna slow down our play back to 35 percent that's the sweet spot for my machine and we're gonna restart the whole simulation right here and so how it works is this little spring here there's two in each side so it's it's distributed evenly and it's gonna pull down the whole mechanism here this the whole sling itself if you would like to call that and it will pull it down and this little driver here will slowly reach the bomb over here and grab it so when the when the grabber grabs the bomb i will have to eject the coupler and that will leave the whole sling itself free so it could swing on its course to launch the bomb and of course what's going to be swinging those well it's going to be these two springs here these two are much powerful than these two at the front because these two at the front are just i think i'm not sure what their settings are i think it's around 0 0.5 each and these ones at the front which is the two guys over here would be like at the maximum spring tension so we're gonna go ahead and try this it's not it, it's not always successful by the way it's i don't know it's it's different because sometimes when i grab it right and it just goes crazy like it, the grabber's going down too fast and it hits the bomb everything goes to shit and all that okay we're gonna go ahead and do that anyway who cares right there we go perfect sling and release it's not that powerful you didn't really see that much because I had to move the mouse at the same time and it was quite confusing because I had so much buttons to press. Let's try it again. And go down, grab, eject, swing, and release. <laughs> That's even worse than the last one. This one has faults in it in the design. There's there's a fault in the design itself. It's it's because of the whole platform. It's not because it's big, but it's just it's on the ground. It needs some extra spring tension bounciness, if you want to call that. Let's go one more try before I show you guys the other design I made. And release. You might reach it. And boom! Fuck you, motherfucker! That's how you burn down the windmill. And our catapult's broken. Yeah, most of these catapults I've built are disposable <laughs> disposable you can't use them again you can certainly use it again but you're gonna have to restart the whole simulation i'm gonna go ahead and go to the next one which is trebuchet number two over here and load this guy up and we're loaded now this guy it's it's much smaller it's the same design in terms of the sling itself and the supports it's not as big as it was in the first one so we, we, this time we have wheels and we're gonna go ahead and try this one out okay so go down 
Oh, I already made a mistake. This one is... You need to grab. It doesn't go down by itself. So the grab is L, I believe. Oh! <laughs> there we go. That's what I was trying to avoid. We will get it. Don't you worry. It gets to that point where it's like it's so intense. There we go. And yeah, that is a lot more powerful than the other one. It goes way behind the windmill. Do you know why it's more powerful? Well, I will tell you because it's, it's because of the wheels. Like, it, it bounces a little bit. Like, the last one was... It was properly set to the ground, so it has no, like, play. It has no play on the ground, so... If I see if I move forwards and backwards, the wheels are quite going crazy. I have no idea how it works. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it has a little bit play. If you can see, like, the... The whole platform over here has a little play of the... It, like, it bounces when, when, when the swing moves. I will show you guys on my other design which is the final one it's going to be I think it's Rebouche 3 this guy over here yep this is the final build this is my best masterpiece ever built <laughs> it's one of the most powerful sling catapult thing I've ever built and we're gonna go ahead and play this out okay and as, as you can see I have four springs this time and still to the front over here, but for this time to make it even more powerful. But this time as well is instead of just wheels attached to the mainframe, it's uh, there's an extra. So we get this little pole thing is here to attach, and then a steering joint, and then another block to connect the wheels. That will give us a lot of bounciness. See that it's bouncing. That's what we want, and the bomb is gonna fall. The bomb is gonna fall. Holy Jesus! Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and fire this bad boy over here. So, spring stand. We're gonna go ahead and press L carefully. All right, we missed it. Let's try it again. Come on! <laughs> There's not enough tension. Let's do it again. Let's wait for it to go down. This is the hard part. There we go. And launch. Look at that. It, it doesn't even reach the back. It just disappears because it goes all the way outside the sandbox itself. <laughs> there you go. It didn't even try to go down yet. It was just flying away. Let's go ahead and do that again. So, get simulation on. And we're going to just grab this little bomb here. And release. Oh, we made a mistake there. It's the release that's the quite hard as well because you have to release it in the right time. My recommendation is the best time to release is when this guy over here gets up to just about here. No more than the the length of the what you call it? These guys here. So these guys are pointing up there, right? So you don't want to go further up here. You want to stay at about zero degrees. So that's 90 degrees. Zero degrees is the best point to release. Or before that, if you want to go higher. Let's try again. There we go. That one's not as high, but that's going to go quite far. not straight <laughs> and it just disappears behind the map so the, so the thing to remember guys is just you need those bounciness and oh yeah I forgot to mention because I just saw it and um, this the bounciness like is dif distributed by the springs from the suspensions I'm gonna go ahead. wait how do I get rid of this block thing anyway yeah the bounciness is distributed by the spring so let's start simulation can you see it there bounce that's the important part so the first design was just the whole mechanism here without the, the big massive stand like they did in the first design and it was just connected to the ground it just doesn't move at all now when the sling swings right and before you release these guys here the suspensions are the ones who's acting as a secondary spring that pushes everything even further let's go ahead and do that let me show you again let's go and play it's already bouncy. 
right oh come on let's just grab it grab it grab it oh, come on <laughs> okay that's interesting let's go ahead and launch that launch and <laughs> it destroyed itself and it's probably gonna explode let's try it one more time it's it's really challenging to grab the bomb here we go see it see it's bouncing and where's the ball <laughs> it's over there it's going really high and let's see if we hit the windmill it looks quite far from it and nope we're not gonna hit it better luck next time so yeah guys so just remember if if you want to build this type of uh, sling catapult style make sure you have those springs to pull because the weight itself like these guys here i tried that for the first design which didn't work and it wasn't swinging fast enough so you're gonna need a secondary spring to pull the mechanism itself to release it faster and also remember these springs here are the important key you can't just like you, you can definitely just set it on the ground and get a reasonable amount of power from your payload or whatever you're trying to launch but if you add in some suspensions here it doesn't have to be wheels you can just add in also like the you can just add in this width this width part here and just put the suspension itself at the bottom here so you don't even need the wheels i just added the wheels for i don't know so you can just move around and shit like this let me show you just like that it's quite dumb though because you can only fire it once and then that's it it's like a disposable camera after you're done with it then it's pretty much useless anyway guys um so yeah so you just build your frame like this mechanism sling mechanism and then just remember the springs at the bottom pretty much that's how it works in besiege at the moment and thanks for watching guys that is my time i hope you like the video and i wish you luck for your building sessions and my name of course is jay if you like the video just go ahead and like it if you don't like it dislike it i don't mind if you have any questions just go ahead and pop them in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching see ya